hey what's up guys welcome to the tutelage.com and uh, as I said we would be creating a PHP and MySQL based newsletter session and today we would be moving forward and we would be creating a sign up form where the users on our site can come and they can subscribe to for the newsletter so I have a folder out here with uh, the name of newsletter and inside that I'm gonna create a CSS folder and guys you can create an images folder and a JS folder that we would be using in the coming series and uh, very first we would need a file that I'm going to name to signup.php signup.php and uh, I will start with some basic HTML okay so I have the HTML5 doc, uh, doc type, the head tags, the meta tags, and I'm done, just going to give the title to sign up. Here is the jQuery library file that we don't need anymore in this video. And here is the div ID main wrapper. Inside it, I'm going to create an H2 tags. So I'm going to say H2. Inside it, there will be a span tag. And I'm going to say sign up for our newsletter. Okay, guys. Then here I would be using some p tags to say you can subscribe to our newsletter in order to get latest updates and promotions or whatever offers whatever you want to write after that uh, I will create the form or yep okay guys start with the form and later I'll take these form tags off because we would be sending our data through Ajax but first I want to show you guys how to do it with PHP and who unlike the people who are not comfortable with Ajax they can only stick to PHP and uh, who feel comfortable with Ajax they can move to Ajax so inside it I'm going to create a table some people say tables are not good but I really like uh, using them because uh, they are very good in you know giving you a good layout so I'm gonna say label for uh, name say first and here I'm going to say another TD where I would be putting my input tags it says input for name name would be equal to name and value would be nothing I would be giving an ID so that later we can target it with our JavaScript here is TR again a TD and inside it I'm going to have a label okay label for email and the another TD and I'm going to have a label for uh, actually not label guys we are going to have an input tag input type email we can use the HTML5 will let us validate without any uh, PHP but still we will use PHP to validate the email but you can leave the input type email and the ID would be email to as well and here I'm going to have a TR tag again with blank TD and another TD with the input type of a submit button so input type submit name equal to submit and the value would be equal to submit as well okay I think that's the basic markup we need here I'm just going to open it on my local host slash news letter slash sign up dot php and it shows what we expecting and guys I'm going to put entire thing inside a form with dev id sign up form so that we can you know just give a bit of styling to it 
and out here I'm going to end this div the link uh, to our style sheet would be CSS uh, slash style dot CSS so I'm just going to create a CSS file out here I'll name this one to style dot CSS okay I'll move this to in type some basic body tags I'm going to say font size to 14 pixels by default and a background to white nothing really fancy and here I'm going to say div ID sign up form should align to center I'm going to say text align center a width of say 400 pixels and a margin of auto and say padding of 10 pixels and one more thing guys that should I think I should give it a border of one pixel solid gray okay you can use your default styles if you want but I'm really much okay okay I think it's looking really good and the text align let it to be left yeah that's look really nice and an extra break tag here to provide some space to our submit button okay It's not taking that break tag, okay. I think I need it here. Oh, okay, leave, leave the break tag part. And let it be like that. Now we need some PHP in order to validate it. So I'm going to create a folder here called scripts. And I recommend you guys to follow the same uh, tables I'm um, sorry the folder structure I'm making it will be easy for you to follow the tutorial in a nice way so I'm gonna say login mm, or say sign up dot PHP sign up script dot PHP okay and I'm just going to open it here I'm op going to open the PHP tags and here where it says action to testing dot php i'm going to change it to uh, sign up dot php okay because we would be including that file into this file here i'm going to say php include once sign up script dot php so this way we won't be going to the next file if we have any errors it would be displaying on the same page itself okay it says include one sign up dash script dot php and able to include it because we created it inside the script folder so i have to say script slash okay it's perfectly fine now here I'm going to say if is set like only perform the following functions if the submit button have been clicked so I'm going to say if submit dollar post then get the name and put it inside a variable called dollar name so dollar post name and your dollar email would be equal to dollar post email okay and uh, guys I really want to tell you one thing I I won't be doing videos more than 15 minutes because I would be uploading them to YouTube so right now I really want to check the timeline on my video okay 